All right, we're going to start with the cyclopentadiene, where you have seen this in a dual solder reaction. But anyway, all right, I would like you to focus on these two protons, okay, two hydrogens. Uh, the pKa of these this two hydrogens, normally, if you look at the um, just regular alkane, the pKa is about 50, not acidic at all. But uh, these two hydrogens on a cyclopentadiene is highly, highly acidic from 50 down to 16. Okay, that's a 34, uh, 10 to the 34th times more acidic than a, a regular alkane. Um, you can add just like a, a, a strong base like tert butoxide, depronate that to make um, uh, this anion. Okay, uh, what contribute to this low pKa? Supposed to be 50, it's only 16. Okay, the reason is this guy is, is, is aromatic, highly stable. Oh, let's check with me. Okay, so there are three criteria do they meet or not? Start with the planar. This was a hard one because we, we never know if this guy's gonna be planar or not. I'm gonna tell you it is planar, <laughs> so this guy is planar. All right, uh, does it have a uh, is it cyclic? Like in a ring? Yes, they are in the ring, obviously. Does it have a conjugated pi system? Now, pi, uh, p orbital, p orbital, p orbital, p orbital. This guy can be either on sp3 orbital or in a p orbital. Okay, I mean the lone pair can be in either an sp3 orbital or in a p orbital, and this carbon is sp2. If you put this lone pair on a p, uh, um, a p orbital, you have all p orbitals. It's gonna be con it's gonna have conjugated pi system, and we love that. Okay, most of the time. Right. Uh, now let's take a look at the number of pi electrons real quick. We have one, two, three, four. If this lone pair were to be in a p orbital and contribute to the aromaticity to the ring, right? So we're gonna count that too. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're gonna go six pi electrons. That makes this guy aromatic compound. All right. If you use frost diagram, I'll take a look. Uh, we'll start with, so we have six pi electrons. Start from the bottom. One and two three, four, five, and six. That's a close shell. Do that. So since this compound, this anion is aromatic, that's the reason why this proton is highly, highly acidic compared to a regular alkane. Because if you deeper it, uh, this one proton, you get aromatic compound. And a strong base, that's a driving force. Okay. So, so the acidic <clears throat> compound have a really, really uh, stable base. This I said strong base earlier. No, stable base. All right. Now, another one, take a look at this guy. If you do um, hydration, remove that OH, right? add uh, sulfuric acid, pronate it, and this guy leaves. Okay, You're going to have cyclopentadienyl cation. And this guy is not stable. You have because it got a four pi electrons. It's not stable. I'll just take a look. Let's say this guy, uh, planar, uh, have a conjugated pi system, the p orbital, and everyone else have p orbitals. Okay, but the electrons that's allowed it to be an aromatic compound. Only four pi electrons. Oh, let's take a look. Use frost, di uh, frost diagram. One, two, three, and four. You can see that's a, that's an open shell. All right, this guy is highly unstable. That's the reason why this reaction doesn't occur. Okay, uh, in <clears throat> just want to point out, all right, uh, the anion of cyclopentadiene uh, is aromatic. So you can draw a resonance structure like this. But the cation version, you can show all the resonance structure, but this doesn't mean that this cation is stable, and we know this is not stable, all right? So using a resonance structure for the uh, cation version of the uh, cyclopentadiene is, is misle misleading, because it's frost diagram show that this is anti-aromatic. The whole thing is not stable, okay? In contrast to this seven-membered ring, all right? I'm going to uh, pronate this OH, you're going to have hydronium ion, this guy leaves, you're going to get the positive uh, positive charge version of this compound we call tropelium ion. You don't need to rem uh, remember the name, okay? We're going to call this guy tropelium ion. Anyway, let's check if this tropelium ion uh, is aromatic or not, okay? All right, start with planar. I'll tell you, this guy's planar, okay? Um, cyclic look like, a, uh, like, look like a ring to me, you okay? Conjugated pi system. P, 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 and empty P orbital. All of them have P orbital, so yes. Last one, 4 and plus 2. How many pi electrons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 pi electrons, perfect. Okay. If you want to use a frost diagram, let's let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, close shell. All right, so this guy is actually aromatic compound. Love it.
right? So this uh, this OS love would love to leave because when this guy leave uh, leave this carbon become carbocation, the whole thing is stable. So tropelium ion is actually a uh, a cation that is stable, stable enough that we can isolate it. Okay, because it's uh, an aromatic compound. All right, we we'll do this one together. Okay, is this guy aromatic or not? I'm gonna go quick right here. All right, so you pause the video, and uh, once you're done, let's go with me. Uh, three criteria: planar or not. Well, let's assume this guy is planar. Okay. Um, cyclic conjugated pi system: p orbital, p orbital, p, 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 and p. This two, you got two options: either put the lone pair on sp3 uh, orbitals, or make this carbon sp2. Put this lone pair on a p orbital. You got two options. Let's say we're going to put this two, uh, two lone pair on the P orbital for now. Let's say if we have aromatic or not. If it's not, probably not going to go to the P orbital. All right. Last one, uh, pi electrons, 4 and plus 2. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 electrons. Yeah, right? Let's use a uh, frost diagram. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hell. Heck yeah. Close shell. This guy is an aromatic compound. It's a dianion too. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna move on to different type of aromatic compounds. So this one uh, got heteroatoms on it. 